Hi, this is James Kidrick with Mobile News from ZDNet here at the HP WebOS event and a first look at the at the touchpad WebOS based tablet. I wanted to show you uh, about the HP touchpad, a great example of how HP has taken WebOS and moved it to the large screen. Uh, along with introducing the Veer and the Pre 3, the touchpad shows uh, what it means when WebOS expands. So, touchpad, let's first talk about the hardware. Touchpad is built uh, around a 9.7 inch 1024 by 768 uh, display. The display has this great wide viewing angle technology, so you can look at uh, the, the screen from almost any angle, and it has Gorilla Glass to protect the front and make sure that you can easily, that, that you don't uh, you know, scratch it up uh, or get too many fingerprints on it. Um, beyond just the screen, the touchpad is encased in this beautiful rounded uh, hardware, and inside has all kinds of power. It is a dual CPU 1.2 gigahertz uh, processor from Qualcomm. It has either 16 or 32 gigabytes of storage, um, a three-axis <coughs> accelerometer, gyroscope, and digital compass. More than that, it's got a front-facing camera, a 1.3 megapixel camera, stereo speakers, and supports HP Beats audio. So really uh, power pack for everything that you need to do. But the touchpad is about more than just hardware. WebOS is what really makes this thing uh, sing. So I want to walk you through some of the core concepts of WebOS and how they apply to a tablet. So as you can see here, I'm in my uh, workspace. I've got all kinds of different applications, which we call cards, open. And you can see as I scroll through here, all kinds of things open. Cards are a fundamental organizing principle for how WebOS allows you to multitask easily. That means that I can do many different things without losing the context of what I was doing before. Uh, and it's really powerful to use on a mobile device because I get interrupted about every five minutes. Um, and it helps me to not have to keep remembering what I was doing before. Cards are really great for a couple things besides just running applications. What you can see here is that I have two cards stacked on top of each other, grouping my weekend reading together uh, so that I don't forget what I was doing there. And I can rearrange or move cards very easily. Just take this one and drag it off to the side if I want to rearrange it or do anything like that. And when I want to close an application, all I do is look it off the top of the screen. Something that's simple uh, and a whole lot of fun. All right, so the other cool thing about WebOS is the notification system. And the notification system for touchpad is really one of the things that, that makes it so easy to use. You see up at the top of the screen here both a, a messaging bubble and an email icon. What that shows is I have both a, a message and an email to deal with. All I have to do is tap on this, and you can see uh, how I deal with notifications. What's best about touchpad here is that it's not just uh, static notifications, to some blinking light somewhere. I can actually triage my email right here without leaving the browser. <laughs> here what you see is something we're calling stacked notifications. You can see the, the sender and subject line of one email, but if I swipe that away, you can see the one before it. And I can go through and triage my inbox like this without having to switch into the email app. I'm not deleting these, I'm just saying, yeah, I know about it, I don't need to deal with it quite yet. Um, or if I wanted to get rid of the entire notifications for email, I could swipe the whole thing away. A really great and easy way for me to deal with uh, my data uh, on my terms. Okay, so I showed you a little bit about how notifications work. Let me show you about how the email app works. So here I have an email open. And this email is quite simple, but it's in a large view that allows me to focus just on it. Okay, more than that, I get all my standard things, reply and forward and so on, um, but the WebOS email application is about working the way that you want to. And you can have choices. So that means if I want to see just one email and concentrate on it, that's fine. I can also slide out and go look at my entire inbox. Or I can slide out one more and go look at all of my inboxes. 
I can pick whichever view I want to do, and I can triage my email very quickly and easily. The other cool thing that we've got here is that we have uh, multi-select. What that means is I can tap this checkbox button, select a couple emails, and hit delete or move. A very easy way for me to manage multiple emails quickly. <laughs> All right, so let me reply to this uh, to this email. So I hit the reply button, and you see that it brings up a card. The draft email, just like everything else, can be a card. I can take this card, and I can move it anywhere I want, even into its own stack. And this, for instance, can live on the side while I look at other emails, either to cross-reference uh, or to write other drafts. All right. So uh, let me let me write a response here. And what you can see first is a WebOS keyboard. Keyboard is really great. I uh, I've been typing on it for the past couple weeks, and uh, I'm really really happy. With it. Not only does it have the numbers up at the top, um, but the keyboard sizes to fit how I like to use it. Let me show you how that works. I hold down this keyboard button here, and I get choices, t-shirt sizes essentially. Um, and I can make the keyboard as small or as large as I want based on what I want to do or based on how I type on it. So if I'm a kind of hunt and peck guy, I can go for a much smaller keyboard. But if I want to touch type, oops, I can bring it up and make it as large as possible so I can really touch type. All right. um, and you can see, very easy to type and very quick, very responsive. All right, so I showed you a bunch about the keyboard and email app. Let me next show you about Photos. So Photos is another place where Synergy is, is demonstrated in a really slick way. So my Photos app doesn't just have my uh, local photo content. It has my content from Facebook, from Photobucket, and from Snapfish all in one place. I don't have to go to three different apps or four different apps to get what I want. It's all in one place. And I can page through it as one seamless uh, interaction. So you can see here my Facebook photos. It came down from Facebook, no problems. And I can pick one and I can swipe through them just like you would expect a Photos app to be able to do. Alright, great, easy. Zoom in and out as well. So, but we want to be able to do more than just look at pictures. I want to be able to interact with them. So, up at the top, I tap the picture, and you can see a couple of different options. One of the options is comments. These are comments from my Facebook phone. I can tap here, brings up the keyboard, and I can respond to it. So I can easily interact with my friends about my photos without having to go to a separate website. Really great. The other really awesome part about the Photos app is printing. Now we're HP, right? We, we are the number one market leader in printers. And printing is part of what we do. And it's real easy. I press the print button. Oh, it tries to find a printer. Um, I would 